Hi everyone. I recently received a beta test version of the new ARMS collimating reflector gun sight from Motion Sick. It's modelled on the RAF Mark II gun sight, which is ideal for the project I'm working on at the moment, which is an Avios European Theatre Mark V Spitfire. So I decided to test it there. To get the reticle um, filling the screen, I had to set the uh, distance between the camera lens and the centre of the reflector sight at 65 mils. The foam was going to have to be cut out to fit the arms into the foam. Cutting an absolutely perfectly round hole into model foam, uh, historically it's not been easy unless you've got a technique to do it. So I wanted to share with you the method I used to get a really perfect, neat round hole. I started off by finding uh, a useful bit of kit lying around, which many of you will have, which is a carbon tubular wing spar. In this particular case, it's a, a 10 mil spar. What I've then done is I've chamfered the internal edge of one end of the spar so that the outer edge is sharp and it slopes away inwards. This means that any compression of the foam when you push down on the slope is on the inside that's going to be cut away, not the outside, which is left behind. If you actually put that on the foam uh, and rotate it gently around, it will cut through pretty much like a knife through butter, and you get an absolutely perfect round tubular shaped hole. And a 10 mil hole in this case was absolutely spot on for the arms gun sight. If it's sharp enough, it will go straight through really easily. In case of my install, the install was even trickier because I had to fit the hole uh, not to completely in the foam. Part of it had to run down the uh, edge of the foam, meaning I was actually cutting only part of a circle, as you can see in the photos. But the same technique did it absolutely perfectly. You can see there's a really neat cut through the foam with uh, virtually no uh, edge damage whatsoever. However, if... Uh, you're a bit of a scale nut like me, you will notice that uh, the uh, site is now fitted on the wrong side of the, the dashboard. It sits forward of the dashboard and in a Spitfire, it actually set aft of the dashboard inside the cockpit itself. Uh, so for me, that wasn't going to cut it. I needed to do something about that. And what I did was to 3D print uh, a Mark II reflector gun sight cut it in half so that only the front half was left and then use that to just slide onto the front of the arms gun sight, as you can see here, which means I've now got a, a dummy 3D a Mark II gun sight inside the cockpit where it belongs and the reflector sight slightly forward of that. When you're inside the camera, you literally can't tell that it's two separate devices.